Hey, so welcome to what sold this month on Mercari. This is what sold in January, January 2022, and it was a good month for Mercari. I was really happy. I sold a ton of old stuff that I've had forever, and uh, and and a few a few newer things, but all stuff that's already been listed on eBay and hasn't sold and got moved over to Mercari and sold very quickly. So with that, let's go ahead and get started. All right, well, so here it is. Uh, this is um, my January sales on Mercari. This is for the entire month. Uh, I know I already told you that, but I, I tend to retell things. But So anyway, yeah. So this is the first thing that sold then in, in January on Mercari for me was let's see it's a loot crate I pick it's a it's a loot crate halo icons it, they're figurines I got these at the Goodwill uh, they had a bunch I paid a buck I paid a buck I bought a whole bunch of them I paid a dollar and these are originally listed uh, December 8th 2018 and I had on some other ones that sold out very quickly and I've sold a few of these but uh, I still have I still have multiple ones of these but every so often I'll sell one so um, this one sold January 1st and I got nine dollars and that one uh, that one in no that one uh, was plus shipping that was plus shipping of course the, sh the shipping goes from a car I don't see any of the shipping so um, that was plus shipping so nine dollars and they paid 5.99 in shipping so um, after fees from Mercari, I ended up with seven dollars and fifty-four cents. Is what I. That's what I got. So, that was that. That's that's pretty good for these things. That's that's pretty good. I'm really happy with that. So, all right. Next. Uh, there we go. Money. This is from a Simpsons Monopoly game. And let's see. Uh, Let's see, I go, but I had this work out. 17 cents I paid for this. I bought a Monopoly game, parted it out. And uh, I listed this September 22nd last year. It sold January 1st for $9. And $7.54 was my profit after fees on that. There was also, there was actually a, as you can see, a delivery fee as well. I don't know why they called it that, but that's how they're doing it, so. Um, and that typically means I don't see any of that delivery fee. So, next. All right, these are some, some bowls for Christmas bowls. I had these in a yard sale. I had, and and I'll tell you. Well, I'll tell you. I don't have the listing date on this, but I know that the yard sale I had was in 2016. So, because <laughs> I haven't had another one since this yard sale until just this past weekend. So, um, yeah, there is, there's that. So 2016 is when uh, I, I listed these then during my yard sale and these sold January 1st. So six years later, six years later, they sold for $15 plus shipping. So I ended up with $12 and 76 cents. Uh, that was my profit, profit on those, uh, yeah, but that, that's really cool when something like really something really old like that sells. I, I just get a kick out of that. So next, all right, uh, Nintendo. These are uh, these these came. Where did I get these? I got these. I think I got these at a church sale. I want to say, uh, but maybe not. Um, I paid three bucks for them. I know that. I listed them April tenth to twenty twenty. So a couple years ago. They sold January 2nd for $12 and plus shipping, $12 plus shipping, and I, my profit was $10.15. Next. All right, these this pair of Ugg shoes. See, all of this stuff that I have here was all stuff that had been already listed and uh, hadn't sold on eBay. So this is pretty cool. Some of it I bumped the price up on, some of it I didn't. It, it just depended um, really I just wanted to try to make some old inventory disappear with Mercari and it really it, it, it's worked very well for that purpose and I'm doing the same thing with Etsy right now it's not Etsy it has not been as as um, 
as profitable as Mercari has because it one 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 because of their insertion fees, they just have higher fees. But uh, but I don't think that I really have the kind of items that that do well on on Mercari. So um, not Mercari uh, on Etsy. You know, if I if I was focused more on you know like some kitschy, you know mid century figurines and that sort of stuff that stuff i'm told goes really well i had a lady that came into my old antique shop and she told me um about her sales on etsy and 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 i i went and saw some of the things that she had on in her etsy shop and and uh, yeah it yeah and she's well she does better on etsy than i do on ebay to be honest so that that's um pretty amazing so, but it's the type of thing she sells. So anyway, these Uggs, uh, three bucks I gave for these, listed them. I can't move that. I can't really see very well today. Uh, sometimes, sometimes I just, whether it's the lighting or what it is. Maybe it's just these old eyes of mine just don't see that great. Oh yeah, that's a little better. And the bifocals, I don't know what it is, but uh, could be the dog chewing on my glasses. But these are a little, these are a little... These are different. These ones, these ones I can see with, but they make my eyes all, all funny. So let's see. Oh, where was I at? Oh, what a day this is. Um, three bucks. I listed these September seventeenth, two thousand nineteen. So they've been up for three years, and they sold January second for seventeen dollars. Plus shipping. Yep, plus shipping. And uh, my profit on that was fourteen dollars and fifty one cents. So that's nice. That's very nice. I'm happy with that. And and they're no longer in hanging on the back of the door of my photo room in in the in the shoe rack that I have, which is dwindling. There's fewer and fewer shoes in there, and that's a good thing. And I don't buy shoes. Very much. I don't like listing them. Um, that's my problem because there's good money you made in shoes. Just ask Rally Roots. <laughs> just ask rally roots they'll tell you so uh but um it's just not my thing so all right uh next 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 it's a cassette tape i think yes it's a cassette tape by some group called inner circle i don't know them reggae it says it's reggae so 25 cents i paid for this listed it january 30th 2019 sold no, December 30th, 2019, sold January 2nd for $5. $5 plus shipping, I made $4.05 on that. So, sweet. Four bucks is four bucks, you know. Next. And I can't help it with, I, I, I still, with cassette tapes, I still would look at them and I would still get them. But I'm not buying anything right now. I'm not buying anything probably the rest of the year. Maybe not until spring next year hopefully hopefully i get all my stuff dealt with and and by then and i can go out yard sale with bill so all right lord of the, this is the lord of the rings replacement one ring from the i don't know if it came from monopoly or or a trivial pursuit or uh i'm not sure if risk has this one in it or not now trivial pursuit monopoly risk yeah risk has a ring in it as well so I, so it, it, they all kind of go together so all right uh dollar 24 i paid for the ring i bought the whole game i probably paid two bucks and i probably no i don't know what i paid for it but um it cost me a dollar 24 for this ring and let's see i listed it uh july 23rd last year it sold january First here it says for nine dollars and I got uh, seven dollars and fifty four cents is my my profit on that that's how much I get to keep and that was that that was plus shipping yep okay next Tupperware Tupperware I got rid of a lot of Tupperware and I'm so happy about that uh, 79 cents I paid for this. Listed it December 30th, 2018. I still have a, a lot of Tupperware that I haven't sold. or And I have some that's not listed yet, too. Um, it just didn't have 
uh, I, I hate to say it, but I'm either going to have to donate it or I'm going to have to buy more Tupperware to mix in with the Tupperware that I have. But probably, maybe I'll get that towed out and I'll put it in my next yard sale. I think maybe I'll do that and see if I can just make it go away. That'd be, that'd be good. All right, so yeah, so this piece was listed December 30th, 2018. So it took three years to sell on January 1st this year for uh, $9. And again, I got $7.54. I must have had a $9 thing going on when I was listing it. $9, $9, $9. And that was plus shipping on that. So, all right, next picture this is a picture look at this this is a very cool picture of a group of German soldiers from World War two I'm assuming um, this came from a property I cleaned out uh, so I didn't have, I don't have anything in it listed it May 16th 2017 so five years later it sells on January 3rd and I got nine dollars and uh, again my profit is 754 on that so next more Tupperware. Let's see, two dollars I paid for these. Listed um, again. The listing of this was not Mercari listing. It was when I listed it on eBay. And so most of this stuff that you're seeing now here in January was was posted to Mercari in December, late December, 2021, and January of. So I mean, if it sold January 1st that I listed it in those last two weeks of December. So this stuff is 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 moving pretty quickly for and you're seeing the dates here. These are two, three, four years old that you know that um or even longer things that have been sitting on eBay that were not selling on eBay and they are selling on Mercari. So you know I realize there's some issues with Mercari and I'm sorry that folks have problems with it, but I, I'm making money. So in, in the end, I mean, that's that's the whole point, uh, you know, is and if some point comes along where they decide to suspend me permanently and I'm and I'm done selling a Mercari, then I'm done. It just is what it is. That could happen any day to anybody on eBay, you know, so always keep that in mind that that. You know, you could lose your account at any time for any, really, any reason if they wanted to. You know, if they want to. It's not your sandbox. They can kick you out anytime you want. So, um, just keep that in mind. Anyway, so $2 I paid for these. Uh, August 17th, last year they were listed and they sold January 3rd for $8. I got 8 bucks plus shipping on that. And so my profit was six dollars and sixty-seven cents on those. So really happy with that. So uh, anytime I sell this old stuff that I've had around here for so long, I, it just it thrills me. So all right, next. And this is especially this is something that I, I listed these. When did I list this? Um, this cost me like a penny. I mean, I bought boxes and boxes of these things at a yard sale years ago. Like probably 10 years ago or longer than that ago you know and they sat around here and I actually didn't get to them for a very long time um, I just didn't want to list them so I will never never buy them again I will, no matter how much I make money on them I will never buy them because I just I just I don't unless I'm gonna process them right away after I get everything else done that I have already then maybe I might consider it but um, for me, this is not something that I should be, I should be picking up. So, and I'm going to have to try to remember that. So anyway, March 12th, 2019 is when I listed, listed this and it sold January 4th for $12 and, um, I get to keep $10 and 15 cents. Now I did kind of get a bad, bad, a bad, I don't want to say bad feedback on it because Macari is a little different, but um, she wasn't happy with the purchase because somewhere in the process, the cover was torn. I mean, it was already torn, but um, somewhere in the process, it, it it tore more. And I don't blame her for being upset with it, um, but I did ship it anyway, just, just in case. So um, that's totally on me. So, All right, next. 
and these actually these were these were at the trader on my uh, Dreamweaver nostalgia account and uh, let's see it's just a pair of of dough hooks for uh, for a, a center mixer I don't I don't uh, know if I had the center mixer or not but these were listed I don't I don't have a listing date for them or how much I paid for them so basically they they probably were free um, and something I got somewhere but they sold January 5th and I got eight dollars for them plus shipping and I made five dollars and 48 cents on that that was my profit on that it was 548 isn't that odd how you can sell something I wonder if they have different size if they have different uh, categories that get uh, different fee structure because that it seems like the like the eight dollars to five forty eight the percentage of that is is must it seems like it's take like they took a bigger piece of that one than they did of other ones here so maybe not maybe it's just my I, I I'm not a math guy so I'm not gonna go figure that out <laughs> next all right bedtime stories these is Uncle Arthur's bedtime stories five bucks I gave for these listed them uh, November 12th last year they sold January 5th for $58 uh, free shipping so my profit was 5022 after fees but the shipping cost me probably in the uh, six seven bucks maybe it's kind of heavy so uh, you can take that off of my profit there so I probably made 43 45 something like that so okay Next is this is uh, I picked this up at Walmart one day. They were they were on sale. Uh, I still paid up for it though. I paid ten bucks for it. Um, at least for me, I paid you know that's paying up ten dollars for something. So I uh, listed it September thirteenth last twenty twenty September thirteenth twenty twenty. It sold January fifth for seventeen dollars. So. Uh, Let's see, and that was free shipping. So honestly, I lost money on this. I sold it for seventeen. I got fourteen fifty one. Um, it cost ten, and then I paid for shipping because I did free shipping. So I paid for shipping on that. The shipping was, it went first class, so the shipping was probably like four bucks. So maybe I made fifty cents on it. But another reason why I, I should never mess with retail arbitrage, even if it's clearanced so next but I move stuff and that's money that can't even though it's even though it's a loss it's like when Walmart clearance is something I mean they might be taking a loss on that item but it gives them more cash it gives them more cash to buy a product that's gonna sell so that's the way I have to look at that stuff so it's not really a loss I, it is but it isn't um, so it's cool all right another Bing TV let's see a penny again for this listed I listed this March 12th, 2019, sold January 6th for $9, and that was plus shipping, so uh, $7.54 was my profit on that. Next, more cups. I paid 2 bucks for these ones, listed them August 17th, they sold January 6th for $20, I got $20 on those, and the profit is seventeen dollars and twelve cents they of course were free shipping so I don't know how much I paid for shipping for those so uh, it, they would have been first class so you can you know figure it out I don't but I don't know I don't I didn't keep track of that so not for this purpose anyway all right next is that it no that's not it uh, here we go shoes Nothing. I paid nothing for these. These came from a house that I cleaned out probably five years ago. Yeah, probably five years ago. They were listed, uh, let's see, July 13th, 2019. So they've been listed going on three years. They sold January 6th for, you got it, $9. Um, I wonder if I ran a, set, a sale or something like that or, or however it was. Well, I, yeah. Something happened. Anyway, I got nine dollars for it, so uh, seven fifty four is my profit on that. And there was a they they paid shipping, so that's good. 
these little guys these things I've had for a long time I've had these a long time I got these I got these at the niche I know where I got them at I remember getting them and they they were in my the very first antique shop I was in like 12 years ago I, I, I put them in they were in there so I've had them a long time when I when I left that shop I put everything in boxes I put it in the basement and it was there ever since until I got into some of the boxes started unpacking things and um, so I don't know what I paid for these I have a zero here they were listed on eBay June 29th 2020 they sold January 7th for $15 which was pretty cool 15 bucks I get I'm I make 1276 on that so I'm cool with that that was very cool I really like it when something that that I've had that long sells that's pretty cool all right here's an old Othello game that let's see I paid a dollar for Othello listed it March 31st 2020 it sold January 8th for 12 bucks 12 dollars plus shipping I got uh, 12 7 no 10 15 I got ten dollars and fifteen cents is my profit on that so good. A very nice set. All right, next. And this is just a little lead crystal mini base. Uh, it was marked Yugoslavia. So if it's marked Yugoslavia, you know it's kind of old because I mean, there's probably people watching this video who don't even know what Yugoslavia was or where it was. Um, Bosnia, Herzegovina, uh, Serbia, those were all countries that were Yugoslavia and, and now there I think there was some there was another one in there too I think yeah uh, was it Croatia I think it might have been Croatia I'm not sure it's been a long time since uh, Mr. Schuler's history class okay let's see so anyway I don't know what I paid for this I believe this was probably something along the same lines I don't know when I shipped it I mean when I listed it I know that uh, I haven't used uh, that light box that you see with the line in the background. I haven't used that in probably eight years. That's been long. That's long gone. So, uh, yeah, listed. Uh, let's see. I sold it January 9th. I got three bucks and uh, three bucks. I got three dollars plus shipping, but I didn't get the shipping. So two dollars and thirty one cents is my profit on that. Next. What was I thinking? Revereware, two ninety nine is what I paid. It's just the lid. Was listed July nineteenth last year. It sold January 9th for eleven dollars plus shipping. I got nine dollars and twenty eight cents on that. Next. Till we have bases. I got this in a bag lot at the one thrift store that I go to, where it's a dollar a bag for books. So, uh, let's see, I paid, do I have it marked on here? I do, no, no, I guess I must not have got it there. I thought I got it there, but it says $1.99, so that came from, I must be thinking on another book, that came from Goodwill, $1.99. I, I paid $1.99 for it. I had it listed for $600 because it's the, the only place I found it, this actual thing, uh, the only place I found this was uh abe books i don't know if you're familiar with that or not but um that's a, a site for um more like book people um and that's the only place i found it i wonder if i'd had worth point i probably could have i probably would have found more listings in the last 10 years or so from different places but i had 600 dollars on it didn't sell didn't sell um so anyway, let's see. It was listed January 31st, 2020. It sold January 11th. I got $170 for that book. So um, Happy Dance. And let's see, $147.77 was my profit on that. So yeah, plus shipping. So next. And this little trinket thing I sold. Um, 
I had no problem. No, that again. This is another one of those items that I'm pretty sure I got. I had in my my old 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 antique shop, and it was just in a box in the basement forever. So I don't have a price on it. I listed it June 26, 2020. It sold January 12th for nine dollars, and I got seven dollars and fifty four cents was my profit. Next, and more Nintendo games. Let's see where we at here. Three dollars I paid for these. Listed April tenth, twenty twenty. They sold January twelfth for fifteen dollars. I got twelve seventy six in profit from that, and that was with free shipping. So I paid the shipping on those. Um, my guess would be probably like four bucks. The People's Choice. This is a Snoopy mug that I picked up at the Niche for one dollar. Is that right? Yep, one dollar I paid for that. And I listed it January 31st. I actually got two of them that day. I listed it January 31st last year. It sold January 12th this year for $43, of which I got to keep $37.15 minus the shipping that I paid for that. So that shipping may have been seven dollars probably, something like that. Don't remember. Next. Patches, patches, patches. These were another bad buy from Walmart. I paid, I only paid a quarter a piece. So um, 75 cents I have in these three patches. And they, they, I thought for sure that they would fly. They didn't. Um, anyway, these were listed February 27, 2020. It seems like that with most of the retail arbitrage I get from Walmart that I think it's gonna fly. It seems like it's gonna fly, and then it don't. So I I, I think I've learned my lesson. I don't even look in the clearance aisles anymore. All right, uh, February twenty seventh last year, no twenty twenty, it was listed. It sold January thirteenth for two bucks. So two bucks plus shipping, and I get a dollar forty four. I get a dollar forty four, so you subtract seventy five cents, and I end up with what? Uh, 79 cents 69 cents yeah 69 cents so Ooh, -hoo. nice all right and then we have this old the American American Fostoria um, a butter dish it's just the bottom plate it doesn't have the top the top piece it'd be worth a lot more if I'd have had it complete but I didn't and I get tired of waiting to find the top piece so it got listed and let's see, I paid 74 cents for it. Don't know where that came from. My guess is that I bought it in a bag lot somewhere. 74 cents. Listed it August 23rd last year. It sold January 13th. I got 10 bucks um, plus shipping. So my profit on that is $8.41. Next. And this is an old fire king mug a dollar i paid for this a dollar listed april 24th 2020 it sold january 13th for 10 bucks so <clears throat> 10 bucks free shipping so i got eight dollars and 41 cents the shipping it went first class so the shipping was probably 455 so um i didn't i didn't do too well on that but history it's gone money that went in my pocket that I could use for other things so and I learned my lesson on it I don't really well no I didn't learn my lesson because if I found a fire king mug I would buy it it's just how I am I just I love them things so if I were shopping but I'm not shopping here's an old pair of uh, teacups for uh, from federal glass and uh, you'll know federal glass if you don't already it has a has a shield on the bottom, uh, you know, a shield, and now uh, there's an F in the middle of the shield. So that's that. It's sort of like a, sort of like a keystone kind of shape shield, you know, not a, not a Captain America shield, but a you know a, a different one. So um, yeah, a dollar fifty eight I paid for these. Listed August twenty third, twenty twenty. They sold January thirteenth for fourteen dollars, and I get eleven dollars. 89 cents but they were free shipping so probably I might have made I'm gonna guess probably uh, I might have 
made four bucks on those and in, in the end so but they're gone so they're out of here next left me more empty space and I'm really digging the empty space that I have in my inventory from all the stuff that has sold on Mercari and Etsy um, I am digging the, the inventory space that I can have to put to put new stuff into that was starting to become a little a little difficult and uh, to to find good places to store new inventory so um, that's gotten much better for me now so that's good all right fire king Ming Pao butter dish this is a Ming Pao butter dish I'm pretty sure I had this at the shop and it wasn't selling so I, I listed it and uh, let's see $2.99 I paid for this I listed it uh, July July 19th last year it sold January 14th so it sold after Christmas and I got $25 for it plus shipping my profit is $21.47 next okay anchor hawking an old amber sereno a glass shakers this stuff is is um the shakers aren't that great but there's some of this stuff is actually doing really well so uh you might want to do a little research on that 298 two dollars 98 since i paid for these um, that's because they are probably a dollar ninety nine each at Goodwill. Goodwill has a thing. Uh, th my Goodwills have a thing where they, they sell everything because somebody might only want one, so they don't want to sell them. You know, I guess I don't know, but uh, yeah, July nineteenth last year is when it was listed. It sold January fourteenth for thirteen dollars. Sorry, thirteen dollars plus shipping. And I got eleven dollars and two cents is my profit there. Next, it's an old Mr. Coffee, Mr. Coffee carafe. Uh, I used to sell these a lot a long, long time ago, but then I kind of, I kind of got away from it. I still have, I have some bun, a couple of, a couple of them. I think I have some bun that I, that were in the basement from a long time ago that I, I got listed. So, uh, but they haven't sold yet. Nothing. I paid nothing for this, probably because it was in the basement. Be my guess. I uh, listed it April fifteenth, twenty twenty. It sold January sixteenth for six dollars plus shipping. I got four dollars and ninety three cents. So four bucks, almost five bucks in my pocket. Sweet. English leather. Let's see. Um, paper label. I don't know. I had it for a while though. And this was another thing that I'm pretty sure was listed at the shop, and uh, and it was it probably was listed in in uh, the Dreamweaver Nostalgia eBay store, not store, but um, which I, I should really probably go in there and I should probably go to Lose Perfectly and I should probably move all the items that are still in that still in that eBay account over to the other eBay account and uh, probably I should probably end that store I'll probably keep it just not having listed in it because I just can't I'm a hoarder <laughs> I got a whore I'll hoard eBay accounts so yeah anyway I'm being silly now I don't know what I paid for it don't know when I listed it so definitely from a shop uh, January 17th it sold for nine dollars I get to keep seven dollars and fifty four cents and uh, fire paid shipping next super mario Ad advance super mario advance 4 so that was a nintendo game boy okay all right i don't i don't i didn't pay any for it i'm not sure where it came from listed it january 22nd last year it sold january 17th for i got 17 dollars free shipped so you know that was probably what three three something to ship um, I got to keep fourteen dollars and fifty one cents in profit on that. All right, next shoe stretchers. Pair of shoe stretchers, shaper things. Nordstroms from Nordstroms. They're very nice. They were very nice. A um, dollar ninety eight. I paid for these. I listed them November seventeenth, twenty nineteen. So it took three years. 
almost going on going on three years. They sold January 18th for 12 bucks, of which I get to keep ten dollars and fifteen cents, and buyer paid shipping. These were these were a Walmart arbitrage thing that I actually this is an arbitrage that did work out for me. I I did make money. I bought a bunch of these things and I made money on them. So. Um, so it was one that did work out. I bought a lot of them. Six dollars cost me for the pair. I listed them February twenty second, two thousand nineteen. They sold January eighteenth for eleven dollars. I get to keep nine twenty eight. So, um, buyer paid shipping on that. But the reason I say I made money on them is because when I first listed them on eBay, I sold them higher, and I got and I got more out of them. So. Uh, now I'm just kind of they're three years old time to move them on and I still have some left I'm not sure if it's this size though or not Next not very many though. Maybe two. I might have two lots this thing here. This was on eBay. I Had to list it because it was old. I, I didn't know if there'd be any interest in it and there really wasn't uh, I paid a dollar for it. I listed it August 27 2020 it's sold it sold January 19th for nine. I got nine dollars plus shipping, and uh, I got to keep seven dollars and fifty-four cents in profit. Next, this is a Hazel Atlas mug. It was not marked, but it is Hazel Atlas. Uh, it's just really neat. It's the kind of a the texture on it was actually like an orange peel texture. It was pretty neat. Um, I had several of them. I still might have. I still might have one. I'm not sure. Uh, let's see. I don't know what I paid. I've had them a very long time. This was also actually listed at the shop, so uh, I don't have a listing date on it. But it, it sold January 20th for $12, free shipping, and it was probably every bit of seven or eight dollars to ship it. So I didn't make a lot. My my profit from Mercari was ten fifteen, but I didn't make a lot on it. So, which is fine because I'm just happy to see it go. And this is tiny. This is just a little. It's it's not really even a children's. It's more like for a dollhouse. It's smaller than a shot glass. Even a, it's smaller than a small shot glass. Uh, very neat little piece of piece of like like j -Date kind of a thing um had it for a while it was just for a while yeah i paid a buck for it listed it february 14th 2019 sold january 21 for 12 dollars plus shipping i got to keep 10 15 so good deal i love selling now this is something i enjoy selling just little tiny small pieces of glass i like selling stuff like this hard to find though i don't really find a lot of it but Maybe that's because I've been I've been uh, trying to limit myself, and now I'm not doing any any sourcing at all. So maybe next year, maybe we'll see. It's a piece of Fenton glass. This was this was also at the Country Trader and uh, and listed on my Dreamweaver Nostalgia eBay page, but course it's been moved over now so well now it's sold so now it's gone um i paid it doesn't say here what i paid so i don't know what i paid for it don't know when i listed it but it sold january 21st i got 20 dollars free shipping on this piece and my profit on it was 1712 minus whatever the shipping was which i, I don't know but i think it was eight something so all right next this is a piece of McCoy. It's a piece of McCoy uh, brown drip, a little, a little onion soup chili bowl. I thought that was neat. Uh, 99 cents I gave for this. I listed it December 20, 2020. It sold January 23rd for $12. And uh, I get $10.15. It had free shipping on it. And again, the shipping was probably every bit of 8 bucks or a little bit more. So I didn't make much on it. But... You know that it's it, like I said though. I'm, I'm really happy to see this stuff moving on and out of my inventory. So there's a Singer Singer sewing machine foot pedal. I paid nothing for it listed January 17th last year. It sold 
January 25th for $16, free ship. Probably cost, uh, it went went first class, so probably four, four and a half bucks to ship it. Um, $13.64 is my profit on that. Next. Barbie. This was another retail arbitrage from Walmart. Um, silly boy that I am. I paid four fifty for the lot. It so let's see. I listed it September eleventh, twenty nineteen. It sold January twenty sixth. Thankfully, for fourteen dollars, free shipping. It went first class. Um, my profit on it was eleven eighty nine. So that's good. They're gone. I don't have to look at those anymore. Hooray. But that's kind of a negative way of looking at it. So I made somebody happy with the purchase of their Barbie Barbie clothes at a, a price they could handle. So that's good. Enchanted Palace. This is a replacement part for an, an Enchanted Palace board game. And I paid 18 cents for this piece. Listed it November 16th last year. It sold January 27th for $13. Uh, my profit is 11.02, and they paid shipping. Next, these little swans aren't they cute? Uh, one set of these was a real problem. One Christmas, I think it was last Christmas. They, they, I've had them for a long time. And they finally, I finally sold one, and they got there very late. And, uh, but thankfully, that eBay, eBay uh, was very good at. Um, taking care of us on those late deliveries so due to the Christmas rush but these however sold on Mercari for a dollar I mean I paid a dollar for them they were listed August 27th 2020 they sold January 27th for $12 free shipping uh, my profit was 1015 minus the shipping they did go first class so they make a lot on them but uh, again that's an older item that is gone now so and the last thing I sold was this lot of Moby books these are illustrated classics for children uh, they're mini books they're smaller I paid 20 cents for the lot uh, they came from a one dollar a bag and uh, I listed them August 17th last year they sold January 28th for $25 plus shipping so my profit on those was $21.47 now this person could have got these on eBay. They paid a $12 delivery fee. They could have got them on eBay. They, the price was probably maybe a little higher, but with the delivery, they could have got them cheaper. I'm pretty sure they could have got them cheaper from me on eBay if they would have bought them there. But they didn't, so they bought them on Mercari, so good deal. Altogether, for everything that I sold in the month of January on Mercari, altogether I paid $0.65 cents and 34 I mean, sixty-five dollars and thirty-five cents, thirty-four cents. So that's what I paid. My sold price was seven hundred and eighty-seven for the month, and my after fees was six dollars or six dollars, six hundred and seventy dollars and forty-five cents. Now, that does not include any shipping that needs to be deducted. So any shipping that I had to pay would be deducted off that total. So I did not keep track of that. So. I mean, it's tracked elsewhere, but not on here. So, Okay, that's everything. Thanks for watching. I hope you appreciate this What Sold on Mercari uh, video. I know it took me a long time to get it done, and uh, I am thankful for your patience. So if you watched this far, please hit the like button. Take care. Have a great day. Keep listening. Bye-bye. And there you are.